Wednesday, and that means one thing. We've got something for the kids and you parents and grandparents out there. The Children's Museum of the Low Country is here. Karen Coltrane, president and CEO. She's always here to bring us the best children's and family events of the week. Karen, welcome back. Thank you. So we're starting off with something sweet this week. We are starting <laughs> off with something sweet. Um, it's the Donut Fest uh, Charleston. So nice. this is on November 18th, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, really, who doesn't love donuts? No. So donut samples for children and adults, and then I understand adult beverages of some kind wow. too. So that combination should yeah. just seal it and the kids can come along, right? Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's a ch and also a chance to name Charleston's favorite donut. <gasps> what do you think it would be? Um, in my world, it's going to have chocolate involved. Okay. Yeah. I always was a strawberry um, ice. Was it not strawberry glaze? Strawberry frosting with the sprinkles. That was always my go-to when I was okay. a kid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I might have. I might have pegged you for that. Okay. Yeah. Do I look like that uh -huh. kind of person? Yeah, okay, I think cool. that works for you. <laughs> I think that works for me. Yeah. I'm. Um, I was the um, actually an eclair, like the donut, okay, the filled yeah. donut with the cream and then yeah. the chocolate on top. Yeah. That's that's good that's stuff. That's gonna be a really fun one. They have a festival for everything these days. They do have a festival, <laughs> and it's good because um, donuts deserve a festival. They do. And they so do. I I would highly recommend that one. <laughs> um, and then back, we're almost to the end of pumpkin season, so now pumpkins are leaving us yeah. as we move into the holidays. So um, you can make your pumpkin count at the pumpkin smash event. Uh, so instead of just throwing it away, mm -hmm. think about heading over um, to West Ashley Farmers Market where uh, we can on Sunday, November 19th from 12 to 4, smash pumpkins. So this is a good thing for the environment, right? I there, think it is. There must be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't let the landfill have it. Let's yeah. let's you know. Let's get rid of it. Well, and let's learn physics. Um, it's great for yeah. kids get with smashing a pumpkin. Oh well, there's that too. <laughs> so it has a socio-emotional um, yeah. component to it too. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, that'll be fun for the kids. Yeah, it one. is. It is. And because um, I can tell you, uh, this event has inspired me, and we've been talking internally about seeing if the city would let us launch pumpkins one day off the roof. So oh, maybe well, we'll, that is, that maybe we'll, uh, we'll see. I don't know. We probably have to have a Pumpkin special launching. permit for that, and we'll have yeah. to figure it out. But, um, but yeah. A girl can dream. <laughs> but until there, head over to West Ashley oh, yeah. this year, because that, that'll be a lot of fun mm -hmm. for people. Yeah. Now, I'm going to hog the rest of the segment with some yeah. of my own stuff, but I have big news. Okay. So I'm very excited to tell you about I'm this. I'm excited for this. This is big news. The Children's Museum is partnering with Explore Charleston to start a new Low Country holiday tradition, the Charleston Santa. Beginning the day after Thanksgiving and for a limited schedule, Santa will arrive at the Best Friend Train Museum, which is right next to the Children's mm -hmm. Museum, to hear holiday wishes and from children. And families can have their picture taken with Santa in front of the replica of the nation's first steam locomotive built for passenger service in the United States. So I want to hover there a second because I don't know that everybody knows that. Yeah. There's so many wonderful things about Charleston, and this is um, one I find that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. The, the museum next door to the mm -hmm. Children's Museum houses a replica, um, the very first uh, train to carry passengers on a regular schedule was right out of That's downtown fancy. Charleston. Yeah. And the in, in the first day it, it did that, Christmas Day, 1830. Uh -huh. So that's why, right. that's why it's red and green. Yeah. So um, it's a very special Christmas train, but what makes this holiday tradition super special today is that the spirit of giving has been woven into its very fiber from the beginning. So everyone who visits will be asked if they have the means to donate a toy oh, for a child in need. So nice. um, we'll fill the train uh, with the toys so we get that nice visual, right, yeah. as a symbol of how people in the low country care for their neighbors. And the Children's Museum will have a pop-up store right in Santa Land there so families who want the convenience and or want their children to see the purchasing and then the giving of mm. the gift for others can have that experience just as they sit with Santa to share what they want. So that was um, what made this such a wonderful partnership from the Children's Museum's perspective to give families a way to demonstrate giving back. Plus the toy purchase from the Children's Museum helps us offer museum discounts to families in need. And to take that lesson of giving to the next level, we're opening the Elf Emporium. Ooh. So this is Charleston's only child, exclusively for children eight and under, 
shop for the holidays. Oh. We're really excited about being able to offer this. So um, the way it works is that young children will come into the um, to the Emporium, it's mm -hmm. going to be in the museum's lobby, mm -hmm. and uh, their adult will have bought tokens for them. One Aww. token equals one gift. So they get to come in with a caring museum representative. <sighs> no, no, none of their grown-ups come in. Oh, no. they, they shop with, with the museum representative and have a couple choices that they can pick and they'll walk out with bagged presents labeled for their family members. <gasps> um, we even have gifts for pets. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. nice. So the child will get the experience of, of paying. Now they're mm -hmm. not touching money, it'll be a token. Yeah. Um, but they'll understand that they give something to, to get the yeah. gift and then they give the gift to someone and they think wow. about what it is. So hopefully this is a tradition that helps parents um, and caregivers be able to instill in their child that it's not just about the child mm -hmm. receiving, that the, it's also a giving opportunity. That's so nice. And they have a lot of pride when they pick out a gift, too, for somebody they love. Don't you love. remember doing that I when you were little? I remember doing that. Yeah. 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 So we want to even back it up earlier by having this Elf Emporium um, where children can pick. And these are not, you know, from Neiman Marcus. Yeah. These are just simple gifts. Yeah, little things. Little yeah. things, but something that gives the child that experience and then gives them on on their holiday, if it's Hanukkah mm -hmm. or Christmas Day, yeah. um, they have uh, this um, gift that they have so selected, nice. and yes, the pride in doing that. It's going to be such an incredible event. Um, congratulations, I know, for starting this big tradition that we're, we're now going to have in Charleston. We're really excited about it. It's been great to work with the team and explore Charleston. They are pros at what they do. Mm -hmm. That's why Charleston's number one yeah. destination. I can't say enough about them, and as I've worked with them on this project, I understand why Charleston's yeah. the number one destination. Uh, they do fabulous work and it's been a joy to, um, um, I had a big Santa experience at the Children's Museum I used to um, run in Virginia. Mm -hmm. So uh, I kind of brought the Santa yeah. piece, they brought all of the talent it's they have cool. and I think it's a great combination. And it's the, it it's the train museum sits right between yeah. the visitor center and us. So it really it's works out well. It's a perfect match. Awesome. It is. Karen, thank you so much for being here and sharing about this amazing event. I'm so glad to. Thanks for letting me.